Hey everybody, it's Chris Eads Boutini from GayGamer.net here with another weekly video podcast. Um, next week is PAX East. Um, I can't say that I'm really like super excited to see anything in particular, um, although I do know that Nintendo is back this year. Uh, they skipped last year, which was upsetting. Um, they are back this year, and I understand they're going to have uh, Splatoon will be playable, so I'm going to make a point to try that out, and I'll let you all know how that turns out. Um, but uh, come back next week for uh, the special PAX East Roundup, uh, with a special guest, I should think. Um, and then, uh, this week, I'm just going to talk about some games. Uh, specifically, obviously, Dragon Age, because that is what I continue to be obsessed with, uh, much to my husband's dismay. Um, <laughs> uh, on the weekends, I wake up in the morning, and I will play it until he gets up, and then I will stop hogging the TV, you know. But I can hog the TV while he's still asleep. And... This morning he came out and was like, Ugh, oh, you in this game. I can't help it. it. There's so much to do. Um, and I killed my second dragon. I went and killed the Crestwood dragon, which was super exciting. Um, and funnily enough, I killed it on my first try. It wasn't even that hard. Um, and I used my regular party. I didn't have to, like, switch around or anything. Uh, it just wasn't that bad. I mean, it took a while, but it wasn't like... We didn't get our asses kicked this time, so that was kind of sweet. Um, that first dragon was a bitch, though. This one, not so much. Um, and I am delighted uh, that I got experience for it, because I was told uh, by someone on Twitter, and I feel like I read it somewhere else, too, that um, in Dragon Age Inquisition... Um, if you defeat someone who is a higher level than you, you get a little more experience, and if you defeat them a little that that's a little less than you, you get less experience. And if you defeat someone who's more than like three levels below you, you get no experience. Which is why I was really concerned when I went and killed the Hinterlands Dragon, because it was like level 12, I think, and I tried to kill it when I was level 13, thinking, okay, now I'm just above its level, I should have a fighting chance. And I think I didn't end up killing it until I was, like, 14 or 15. Um, so I guess that was still within the three-level thing, unless I was 16. But I think it was only 15. I don't remember. But I got experience for killing that dragon, so I'm like, okay, maybe. And then with the Crestwood dragon, I also got the experience for it. Um, but I, it is true, because I did notice, um, I just did, uh, this morning, or this afternoon, I did the quest where um, you go with Cassandra to check out... Uh, the Seekers and Grand Seeker Lucius, who's a mess, and um, all those enemies were like level 11, and I'm like 17 now, so I got nothing. At the very end of the quest, defeating everybody and finishing it, the experience bar did pop up on screen, so I guess I got a little experience, like, just for finishing the quest in general, but um, defeating the enemies, that bar never popped up, so I was getting no experience for doing any of this. I was just getting some swag and loot. That's it. Um, so it's really unfortunate. And also, like, going through the castle, I'm, like, looting chests, and I'm like, yeah, I don't even want to pick that up, because that's so useless to me. Um, like, it's not even worth carrying it around to go sell it for the gold later. I'm just like, whatever. Um, like, I clearly should have done this quest much earlier on. Um, and that's the one thing about Dragon Age Inquisition that I'm a little... Like, I still love this game. This game is pretty fantastic. Um, so... It's the one design decision that I'm not crazy about, which is that it's sort of an open world game. Um, I mean, not really. I mean, you unlock the areas as you go, um, and I guess you unlock them in a certain order, and that's the order in which you should do them. But because I was so busy in the hinterlands and there's so much to do, I would do these... I would do these operations to unlock the different areas, and it's like, do you want to go to this area right now? And it's like level 12 through 15, and I'm like, well, no, I'm not even level 12 yet, so no, I'll do that later. And I would unlock other areas, and I'd be like, no, I don't want to go to explore that area yet. And I was still working on some stuff in the Hinterlands. But then when it came time to move on from the Hinterlands, I said, all right, let me go explore some of these other areas. 
I didn't remember the order in which I unlocked them, so I just sort of went randomly and was just picking them as I go. So, like, every so often I'll get to an area and it's like, okay, this is a challenge, and then I'll go to another area and it's kind of easy because I should have done that first. But there's no... I, like, I never went online to see, like, what order I should do them in. I didn't think it really mattered, um, because I was thinking that it was leveling up with me, but it's clearly not. So, um, yeah, I kind of wish that I had, like, done them in the order in which I'd unlocked them, either as I unlocked them or else, like, checking, like, an online walkthrough to, like, make sure that I did them in the right order, because now... If I go into some area where they're, like, four levels below me, I'm not going to get any experience for killing anything, and that's just going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Whatever. I'm still playing it, and I'm still loving it, even with that. So, um, hopefully I don't need that experience when I get to the end of the game. Um, the other game that I wanted to talk about, um, I've been playing an awful lot of Xbox Fitness lately. Um, which I'm enjoying as a nice alternative to Dance Central. Since it's like five degrees out and it keeps snowing and there's ice everywhere, I haven't been wanting to go out and run, so I've been looking for, you know, indoor options um, in my living room. And, uh, you know, Dance Central's fun and all, but it's just Dance Central over and over again. It's like, you know. So I appreciate Xbox Fitness for giving me some variety of different workouts, and, um... There are a good number of workouts that are free uh, with Xbox Live Gold, um, but um, the ones that you have to pay for, they're, like, crazy expensive. And there's no, like, demo. Like, there's a Zumba workout that's, like, a series of, like, seven workouts, but it costs, like, $80 or $60 or something. And, yeah, you're getting a good deal because you're getting, like, seven probably 20 to 30-minute workouts, and that's great, but... I'm not shelling out that much money because I don't know if I'm going to like that workout. I'm like, give me one demo Zumba workout so that I can try it, get addicted to it, and then I'll go buy the others. Um, because some of them, like, there's this one aerobics workout that I can't do because I don't, like, have that much space in my living room to move around in. Um, it's also really complicated, which I don't like. Um... But I've really enjoyed, like, the kickboxing ones, and the Mosa fight workouts are really good. Um, like, there's a lot of good free workouts that you can do and not have to spend any extra money. And, and I like that it's also like a game, you know, and as you go through and you do the exercises, you sometimes challenge yourself, you're challenged to beat your own score or your friend's score, and that gets you bonus points, and it's really cool. Um, I will say that I would like to be able to download the workouts to my Xbox One hard drive, just as a suggestion, um, because uh, Saturday I was doing the workout, and I literally had five minutes left in my workout, and it froze, and then it lost connection with the Xbox Fitness server, so I had to start over. And... I had to start over and, like, fast-forward to that that point to... Because to, I wasn't going to do it again. Um, but because I fast-forwarded and just did the last five minutes, you know, for my own sake, sake uh, you know, just to do finish my workout, instead of skipping the last five minutes, I went to do the last five minutes. Unfortunately, it meant that I only got points for the last five minutes because I lost all the progress that I had done and all the scoring that I had gotten, uh, all the challenges that I would beaten, gone. So rude. And this morning I was doing it, and a couple of times it would, like, pause, like it was having trouble streaming it, and I, like, would freak out again, and I'm like, come on, come on, come on, and then it would continue, so I didn't lose all my points that time. But I got really frustrated, because I'm like, I did all this hard work, and I want that reflected in my score, damn it. I don't care that I've still burnt the calories, I want my score, because that's what's keeping me playing, you know? I mean, last week they had a challenge... It, uh, you know, an achievement challenge where you were supposed to do these two workouts twice a piece and then you would get a bunch of bonus points and that I, that's why I was like, I'm going to go and finish it and do those last five minutes so that I can get credit for finishing this workout because I need to finish that achievement. Um, but, and I know it's funny, but it's like that gamer mentality of beating your high score 
or beating your friend's score, or just simply moving to the next level of fitness, you know, like, that's all imbued in Xbox Fitness, so you're doing these, basically just, you're just working along to a workout video as the Kinect tracks you and gives you a score, you know, you're just working to a, a, a workout video, but it puts all that video game stuff in there with the challenges and the scoring, and for me, that's all the motivation I need. And that's so much more motivation than if I, like, bought an expensive gym membership because I would go and I'd be like, eh, and there's no motivation, there's no reward, you know, I mean, other than getting fit and losing weight and gaining muscle and whatnot. Um, so, yay for Xbox Fitness. Although I will say that I kind of wish that they had a better layout to the game because I would like to be able to s set a filter that's like, just show me the free workouts. Of course, they don't want to do that because they'll say, here are your free workouts with some other stuff. But don't, if you click on them, then they're like, oh no, this one's not actually free though, but hey, you might like it, just spend $40. And I'm like, no, I don't think so. I'll go to this free one over here, thanks. Um, so that's it. I'll stop blathering on, and I will see you back here next week, although it won't be here. It'll be in my Boston hotel room uh, for a roundup of what I saw that was cool at PAXIS 2015. See you then. Bye.